All right, let's go into an infected house. I want to try to get some organs. This is going to suck. Here we go. I sometimes wonder if I should just kill an infected person. I mean, they're gonna die anyway, but god damn it, I don't want to. Damn, good stuff. Did I just come back? They can open doors, so that's not going to do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I'm infected. Owie. Okay. Um. Let's maintain our immunity. A little bit better. Holy shit. I, that's never happened before. I've had my immunity run out and, you know, I usually notice in time, but that just... It just did it. Damn. Do I have any bandages? Oh, I do. That's good. Freeze up some room, too. Damn it, why aren't you dead? I'm sorry. It's a horrible thing to say, but I wish you were dead. <laughs> More muddy water, sure. Alright, I'm not gonna... Oh god. I'm not gonna loot anymore. this place. What? What the hell just happened? You got yourself infected with sand, best cub. Our dogs found you. No? I mean, I did, but then I cured myself. Did I faint? Yeah, you were laying down, not moving at all, like a corpse. What happened to me? Sand pest. That's what it's like. It struck once before five years ago. A lot of people died. We used to play the plague game then, too. The plague game. So what? Do you want to play more? It's deadly. Spreads like fire. Transmitted through touch. It infects items, walls, drawers, the ground itself. It clings to you like mud. Like leprosy? It's in the air, too. If a sick person touches you, you can catch it. It's like smoke. Like a fog. If you breathe in infected air, you might get sick. I've seen that air. Here, have an immunity pill. So that you don't faint anymore, alright? Notkin gave us some, but you need it more. It suppresses all kinds of diseases. It also tingles on your tongue. What about you? We're small. A single pill can last me a day. But I'm actually very healthy. My belly never even aches. You do look like a healthy lad. Thanks? I don't know exactly what triggered that. Maybe just getting infected and then they expected me to not cure it right then and there, perhaps? Expecting you to come out infect? I don't... I don't know. But at least I didn't die, which is good. I thought I died. And that would make me very deeply sad. Yeah, I don't... I don't need the immunity boosters right now. I'm good on immunity. <laughs> Aw. They even put a pillow under me. Everybody's looking at me like, You alright, Daddy Hunchback? My scouts reported that you blacked out in the town. I came here to check on you. 
You look better than you did two minutes ago. Have you taken the immunity boosters? Your scout is a bit too young. I don't like it. He's not a scout. He's an aide. I mean, I can't just expel him, can I? But we don't let the little ones anywhere dangerous. Let's say I believed you. It's dangerous to just lie down in the streets here, especially if you're still alive. Our scouts were brave to use their medicine dragging you out. Still, we need to talk about this. Okay, let's talk then. I gave them an order to not assist any more infected people, unless it's one of ours. The last thing I want is for you to play medical personnel. We have orderlies, the beak heads. No beak, no business in infected districts. Look who's talking. Anyway, you gave the right order. We're low on immunity boosters, and we're entirely out of schmouders. What I mean is, be careful. If you fall on the street again, we can't help. I won't fall. I don't know why I fell the first time anyway. How bizarre. Five PM. I'm worried about all the amount of stuff I have to do still. But I mean I still need to go up to Dankowski to do the water thing. Okay, let's go to the nutshell and then I don't know, I'll go to the nutshell and then I'll figure it out. I'm not sure if I want to take the boat up to go to Dankowski next or go over to little baby Vlad's place. All right, in the nutshell, we can fix this thing. How long ago did it break? Uh, I can try. I think I have the stuff for it. Yes, there you go. It's pretty, if nothing else. You're the one who wants the dog leash for Schmouter, which I think I will immediately do. I mean, I don't have it on me, but I want to do it as soon as possible. The leash is a nice thing, a nice signifier that I'm part of the soul and the haves, but Schmouter is kind of more important. I won't grow at all. I haven't grown an inch in 15 years. 15 years? So that's how long they've been there? So Victor Kind's son is, what, like 30 or something? Why must you always intrude upon children? You don't belong here. Aren't you the kid I first met at Dwyrein Den? We have so few places of our own, only a couple, and yet you feel the urge to impose yourself even here. Do you know what childhood is? It's slavery. Herders treat their cattle better than parents treat their children. They lock us up like objects, mold us like statues, and still never take us remotely seriously. See that lantern over there? I fixed it. I've earned the right to be here. Whatever you say. What happened to you? Why are you here and not in the tower? You happened to me. Me? I'm not shifting responsibility onto you, and I have no regrets. Going to that house was the right thing to do. I've heard it even helped slow the infection somewhat. However, in your place, I'd never allow two adolescents to venture inside a hotbed of infection. As if you wouldn't have gone without me anyway. At least I supervised. I don't know anything for certain anymore. How long is its incubation period? No one knows. That means I can't go back to the polyhedron. That's a very mature line of thinking. Several hundred of my friends live there. I'm their leader. If there's even a minuscule chance that I've contracted sand pest... No, I'm not even approaching the tower unless I know for sure. If you're sick, we'll find you some schmouter. You're a doctor. I'll accept your help if you decide it's required. To do otherwise would be pointless arrogance. But this plague is like a wild cat. Today it hides, tomorrow it ambushes. I'd rather stay here for now. Fair enough. Perhaps you'll make peace with Notkin after all. And I apologize for the way I talked to you earlier. Forget it. I can tell it's hard for you to be away from that tower. Okay, that's everything here. Yeah, I'm debating taking this boat 
up to like, I guess here and then down to Denkovsky. Eh, I might as well just pop over to baby Vlad's place. Well, look at that. Schmouter. I probably have the stuff for it. I have a lot of things. The rings sell for so much, I don't want to trade those. Let's see if we can make this happen. Chalk. Oh, buttons. I have six buttons. Hell yes, we're going to make this happen. And then raisins. Yes. Schmouter. Thanks, kid. Whew. Glad to see you, Bura. So we're about to have the conversation about what does the Uderg mean, but I think I'm going to skip it pretty much because we know what the Uderg is. It's the town. It's the people. It's also what they call a bull marked for slaughter. The town marked for slaughter. Right, let's have the conversation about the well now. This one I'm not going to skip. Bura, what do you have here in the corner? Do my eyes deceive me? Is there really a well inside this house? Your eyes do not deceive you. It is indeed a well. Did you dig it? Yes, yes, I know. Sacrilege. Taboo. Have you ever wondered what's behind that superstition? No, I've just been brought up this way. Things change. You couldn't have missed the tower on the other side. A couple of years ago, Father also introduced water infrastructure. Actual pipes, Bura. Didn't you notice the pumps? The pipes don't even run deep, but the outrage was a sight to behold. I'm surprised there wasn't a riot. Then again, considering your father's temper. Exactly, if they only tried. You might find it surprising, but I lean toward the side of the common folk in this matter. Didn't we talk about that? Explain. I wanted to see what's behind all this superstition. I'm generally very fond of the kin's folklore. You see, I believe that by figuring out the inner motives of these people, we could create a truly solid economy, help them accept the future, so to speak. So what did you find? I don't know yet. It hasn't gone smoothly. The deeper we dig, the less willing people are to descend. Still, no monsters have emerged, not yet. So you called for me to show me this? Uh, oh, yeah. The well is not why I called you today. You see, these esteemed people here are trying to convince me the Odongs are, well, immune to our infection. They supposedly do not get the sand plague. And we know that to be true. They don't. What does that have to do with you? You see, I supervise certain things at the Bull Enterprise. I am, after all, an Olgimsky. A large number of our workers are Odongs. Almost everyone who works with the livestock is an Odong. It's hard, dirty work. And if what they're saying is true, then in the end, they'll be the only survivors in the entire town. Not quite, Bura. Not quite. I'm racking my brain over a different concern. Don't ask me what it is. Just look at them and tell me. Are they lying, or could it be true? After all, you, your father, was a stepman. Hmm. All right, I'll look at them. What is that key for? I wonder. It is good that you listen, Yargachin. Do you know how we worms came into being? You mean according to legend? Same way the Shopnock did. The earth molds you out of her innards and spits you out. That is right. Our nature is twofold. We're part earth, part flesh. That is why we possess properties of the earth. She de. What is no threat to earth is no threat to us. Quite a deal you've got there. What could possibly threaten the earth itself? We took some properties of flesh, yes, and some from earth. Joined, they became something new. We've learned to sense herbs. We've learned to understand cattle. We're unaffected by a disease that earth created. 
Yes, a whole is greater than the sum of its parts, always. I see you're branded. Is that mark a letter? Do you believe them? Before you answer, Barach, I implore you to think, truly think. Thousands of lives might depend on your answer. Yes, I believe them. I wonder what difference that makes. What if I say no? Does it, does the hole just never get built? And then, and then what? I ran through this infected zone to get to the town hall to tell Dankovsky about the water, looking for any infected people that I could get organs from, and I still found nothing. I'm going to do something that I really don't want to do. I'm going to kill an infected person. I hate to do it, but th the truth is they are sure to die, and I will really be doing nothing more than saving them a lot of suffering. So I'm going to do it. I wonder what it's going to do to my reputation. What? Oh, I went into a clothes store. Let's try this one. <laughs> Awkward. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's get blood. And as many organs as we can. I will make room for them. Goddamn, that's a lot of room I need. Wow, holy shit. That's gonna stay open, right? Yeah, okay. Freed up six spaces take the took the last metro plus and dropped a couple things i don't think i need that much uh, some water bottles a couple and some empty bottles let's see where we're at yeah hearts two by two isn't it so i need to free up two more slots there we go dropped one thing of hazelnuts and a couple things of something else two broken ampules yeah, all right, we have every part of an infected person so we can start testing. Yes. Now let's get the hell out of here. So I should be able to talk to Denkovsky to report the messy water. Wait, I don't see a highlight on them. Oh, fuck. They said report to Denkovsky if you notice anything's off. Did they not? Alright, whatever. It's just a quick walk over there. Maybe I just tell it to the guard. Quick stop over here for another piano house. Don't come closer or I'll scream. Mm. And then I think the next one is the changeling that we encounter. Alright, come on guard. Can I talk with you? What? What do I do with the shitty water? Okay, maybe I need like a barrel of water outside of an infected zone. Like I remember this is where I first encountered the guarded barrels in my last playthrough. Over here by the, the nutshell. Like this is muddy water. Do I need to drink it? Okay. Do I have to drink it? I can't just collect it? I found a barrel with suspiciously unclean water, but it's not like there's acid inside. The water just seems muddy. I need to think hard what to do about it. Mm-hmm. You've gone all pale, Doctor. Is everything okay? Is the water fine in this barrel? Hmm. Uh, you know what? Take this barrel to the outskirts, to Ravel's house. I'll examine it there. Okay. That's good. Is it? I mean... The water's fucked up. So, like... That's not good water? 
Is that any good at all? Why? I've ordered that the suspicious barrel be delivered to the shelter. Laura's home for the living will have water. I have a bad feeling about it. Did I just fuck that up? Is there some other way to do that? I mean, I thought I could just take my vials of muddy water and show that to them and be like, yeah, uh, this one's all fucked up, even though it isn't, and get them to send it. I don't understand. I want to go up there and just see if I can, I don't know, filter the water or something. <laughs> Because if I just, like, infected everybody and fucked over everyone there, then I'm going to reload. Let me take this boat up there. There's the barrel. Guess I just need to go speak with Laura. I'm worried about this. I can't think of a way to get clean water delivered, though, given what I just tried. Why is death still watching me? Shouldn't that have gone away by now? Oh, it's gone. Whew. We don't even have a proper hospital in town. Thank you. Many people have already used the barrel. I told them it was all thanks to you. Uh. There's been a rumor that someone infected the barrels. Oh, nonsense. I don't believe in imaginary poisoners. Still, don't drink from that barrel, all right? I know perfectly well who started this silly rumor. It's just muddy water, and I need it desperately, Cub, for the people. I mean, it is muddy water, but, like, it makes death kind of see me, you know? And things go a little bit black, so... You know, that's bad. It's dangerous. Oh, it's not so bad. Unlike dying of thirst. Lara. What next? Shall we become terrified of one another? Too anxious to eat bread? We can't succumb to fear, cub. The disease isn't the worst part of an outbreak. What is? The way people transform. Don't let fear overtake you. Fear is the worst disease. It weakens your spirit and welcomes illness. Fine, share this water with your guests, but you, yourself, will drink only what is distributed in bottles. Got it? Okay. Still got an awfully bad feeling about that, but I cannot think of another way to solve it. It's weird that they told me if you see something is off, bring it to Dankovsky, and doing that does nothing. And even like tricking them does nothing? Is there a way? To trick them into giving them a clean barrel? I'm going to save the game and then load an older game and just try some stuff. I have a new idea on how I might be able to do this. So, water guard's here, and this is a clean barrel, but I need them to think it's infected. I thought I could just, like, hand them the bad bottle. Evidently not. However, what if I do this? I'll fill a bottle. Like, hey, yeah, just... Got a bottle of water from here, and then I'm gonna drink a muddy one. Oh, damn. Real bad stuff. No? I have another idea, but before I try it, while I was heading over to the barrel person over here, in this park here, there's another barrel person. Just see if I can do anything differently? Oh, this water's fucked too. I found a barrel of suspiciously unclean water, but it's not like there's acid inside. The water just seems muddy. Need to think hard about what to do with it. Maybe I just need to make the quest go in a different direction by choosing this option. Instead of saying just take it to Ravel's house, say, how would I know if it's dangerous? I guess it would be smart to take a sample to Dankovsky. He's the microscope man. So then maybe it's not marked on the map, but maybe now I can take a sample to Dankovsky? I guess if I'm going to do that, I need a sample. So...
Oh, did that update the quest? I have a sample of muddy water. Hmm. If I take it to the bachelor, he'd certainly order all potentially dangerous barrels to be destroyed. A third of the town will be left dehydrated, but safe. Hmm. I mean, it's bad water. I don't know. It's bad water. Should I get a sample of the other one? The other barrel? Yeah, let's try doing the other barrel. Let's drop two of these. How do I do that? Shit, I don't think I can. Uh, pit, no, uh, whatever. <laughs> Wait, is this clean water now? It's clean water? But before it wasn't clean water. Oh, that's awful strange. And I can't tell them like, hey, take this barrel over. I hope I can divert one of the barrels or something when I talk to Bachelor Dankowski. I don't know. Like, there's clean water right here, and they're going to take this out. They're going to take all of them out of this region. Why can't I get them to take this one over there? Let's speak with Dankowski. Oh, I'm exhausted. On my last legs. Yes, Burrah? Why are the water barrels being guarded? Water will now be given to people drop by drop in a controlled fashion. Some Luddites destroyed your water pipes tonight. Claimed it was contaminated by the river water. Granted, the Gorhone is terribly polluted. But what if there was no contamination? Where are we supposed to get water now? For sanitary use, if nothing else. There are step springs. Water carriers bring water from there. Water carriers? Seriously, Burrach? We're quarantined. Although I suppose we'll have to send someone, with proper security, of course. Where, by the way, are those springs? Far from here? Quite. Still, Erdem, about the water. Colleague, this is nonsense. You're stuck in the Middle Ages. I suppose I just have to accept this. Whenever an outbreak strikes, the rumor mill spins its wheels. Someone poisoned the wells. Who? Gypsies, heathens, witches, foreigners. I won't act without proof, which doesn't exist. What's this then? What's this? Where did you get it? From a barrel in the middle town. No, no, for God's sake, damn it. What have we done to deserve? All right. I apologize for that outburst. Leave it to me. I'll examine it today. It won't take long. And if it's infected? No ifs. Consider it infected. Then, well, it's not like I have a choice. We'll follow the plan and destroy all the water barrels in the middle town. Effective immediately. We simply can't take any risks here. I can't shake the sense of dread, as if fate itself acts against us. Great, so I robbed half the town of water with my own hands. So, wait a minute, does that mean Laura just doesn't get any water at all? Uh, no barrel for Laura or for the rest of the middle town. Some of those barrels were clean, though. It's really weird that I couldn't do anything about that. Let me go speak with Laura. Maybe there's an alt. Maybe we can figure something else out to do. I don't know. I can't think of another way to solve that quest. Do I have to give them dirty water? Or just. Is it dirty water or no shelter? Let's see how this turns out. Why aren't we preparing for evacuation? So? You won't receive a clean barrel. Everyone is equal when it comes to the threat of thirst, homeless or not. Are you implying there were unclean barrels too? Yes. Bringing you one of those obviously would have been a disservice. This can't be true. Hmm. 
this means someone deliberately spreads the disease, please be careful with that plan of yours, Gravel. Don't let in strangers, not anymore. Does that mean... That it is? Dirty water or no water? Shit. Okay, I loaded the save game where I did have the water delivered, the nasty water. I guess I can't deliver clean water. It sucks, but... Whatever the result is of this, I'll live with it, and I can I can protect Laura. If she gets infected, I'll give her a schmouter. Alright, I'm having trouble doing everything that I need to for today. 35 minutes to get down here. I'm going to go back to my place, dump a lot of things, start brewing those organs. I think today's the day that a bull walks the street and I need to cut it. I think that's also related to developing the panacea. So let's get working. Okay, we can upgrade our inventory. Oh, that's beautiful. That feels so good. Let's also fix our scalpel. Mm, I've got a bit of red thread. Yeah, let's fix our gloves. Knife is still good. Okay, stuff is nice and sharpened. Let's start brewing some things. Just want to brew one of everything. I think if I use the plus tincture, it takes less time to brew. Yeah. Which, actually, let's do that. I'd like to get these all done today, although I don't know how likely how that is. Let's make more medrol plus. Hmm, I thought the bull was walking today, but actually I think it's tomorrow. It says soon the bull will walk. Yeah, it's not yet. So I got stuff brewing at home. Um, I'm going to safely, I think, safely ignore the Uderic thing at Saba's place. I don't think I need that. Father is murderer is not actually father's murderer, so I think fuck that. I think let's go to our house. I mean, by now it's probably been robbed, but yeah, let's go there. Also, there's two bad dudes here. Didn't expect them before midnight, but they are here. I should probably avoid them, actually. They're kind of clustered a bit too close together. Whoa. Burglar? What? Uh, who's that over there? Limp along hobo. This house is ours. Get your loot elsewhere. A lot of free houses still standing. I don't know who this person is, and I'm not even at my home quite yet, but, uh, this is my house. No, it ain't. It's ours. Objections? Yes, I object. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, are you a looter? It didn't look like a looter, so I just thought they were fine. Hmm. I'm going to stop by the pharmacy real quick. I'm dangerously close to dying. I do not want to die. We've got a little stabby boy here. This pharmacy didn't have any bandages, by the way. So I'm going to go to this one. I finally found a pharmacy with a bandage. That was incredibly difficult. I'm also trying to buy up a lot of the antibiotics. Building a stockpile. Yeah, I don't even know if I have time to get back to my house. So this pharmacy doesn't have bandages or tourniquets. This one doesn't. In this one, my reputation's too low because this is where I killed an infected person and took all their organs. And then finally, this one does. I just had to go halfway across the map. It looks like I'm actually going to make it to my house in time. I'm almost there. Oh, sounded like somebody aggroed on me. Ah, oh, 
another one. Do I still have time? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my health isn't great, but it's enough to take a punch or two. I might be okay. I'm really worried. I really don't want to die. I believe what people have told me is that lockpicks are actually pretty good against enemies. I think they said that lockpicks kill people on one hit if the lockpick breaks. So a lockpick with very little durability actually will break off like in their stomach and I think we'll maybe kill them in one hit. Oh, let's drink some more water too. I want to have max stamina. All right. Have like a half hour. Hopefully that'll be fine. I don't know how careful I need to be. What if I'm inside the house when it becomes midnight? Are the robbers just going to disappear? 